everyone, what's up and welcome to the channel. Right now, I do have a very exciting video for all of you. We're gonna check out all of the season seven lucky draws, all of the emotes and all of the soldier skins coming to the game in season seven. So let's go. Now, this is gonna be a pretty long video, so get comfy, relax, sit down, grab something to snack on or drink. And without any further ado, thank you to All Young Gamer for the leaks that I'm gonna show off in this video. But anyways, here we go. So firstly, Ruins Odin Omen, such an awesome soldier, so cool to see like a Viking inspired soldier in the game and hands down my favorite Ruin in the game. And then we do have the AK-117 Easter, not sure how to pronounce that, our third AK-117 skin which is a legendary on global, kind of crazy, but I've got to say I really like the blue on here and that whole gold tone as well, it all goes together very very nicely and that glowing effect on here, I've got to say I actually dig the skin quite Quite a lot. I also love the stock, it's so cool to have like kind of like a Viking axe inspired stock that looks really nice. It's a solid looking skin, I've got to say, it's a solid skin. I like it. What do you guys think about that? We also have a remodeled Viking axe, it actually looks really cool. If you're a melee user, you are gonna like that quite a bit. I love that. Then we have a normal combat axe, blue and gold, pretty cool, nothing crazy, but the actual emote that is dope. Our Viking shield, we have our axe, and we're ready to conquer. That island, hop off the boat and go to war. Really cool emote, like that quite a bit. Over here is our locust skin. We got that same looking gold tone of the blue. Same as the actual legendary. Pretty cool looking, nothing too crazy, they were pretty nice. And then over here is our backpack. I would have liked to see like a Viking shield instead of a normal backpack, but it's still pretty cool. Over here is our calling card. Okay, if you like calling cards, pretty nice. Over here is our wingsuit as well. Same gold, same blue. It's a wingsuit, nothing crazy. And then finally over here is the actual charm that is gonna be in this draw as well. So starting off the second draw strong, we have a legendary wingsuit. Do we need this? No, do I want this? 100%, that is so cool. They've taken the jetpack and made it so much cooler. I'm a big, big fan of that, really do like that. Then over here is our emote. It's one of those type of dancing lengthy emotes. It's gonna be called Hard Style. And like I said, it's a pretty long dancing emote. And I know you guys like the dancing emotes in the game. So this over here is something probably a lot of you guys are gonna go ahead and like. So, okay, that is the Hard Style emote. Now let's move on some more. Over here is our Bat Skin. Essentially, we have a paid gold skin with some hexagons on there. And that's the only weapon in this whole draw, which is crazy. Over here is the calling card, but only one weapon in this draw. That is insane. Over here is the soldier being Blackjack from Black Ops. I would have preferred to have him in his full outfit with the whole mask and hoodie, but still awesome just to have him in the game. But this is what I want. A legendary helicopter skin, that is just insane. This is one of those things that I thought would never come to the game, but having it in the game is just so awesome to see. I really do like that. And also, I think the design is coming from Advanced Warfare. I could be wrong, but I think it is. Then over here, we have our clown skin. As you guys can see, we have that same yellowish vibe with the blue, and it is actually animated, which is pretty nice. And then over here, we do have our backpack. You guys will notice this whole draw is essentially for Battle Royale. Over here is our vehicle skin for the antelope. Like everything in here is essentially for Battle Royale, except maybe like the actual bat skin. And then over here is the parachute, which I don't really like too much. But otherwise, I'm a big fan of this draw for the sole purpose of that legendary chopper skin is really cool and I definitely want that for my collection. Over here is the next draw and starting with the motorcycle halberd and you guys will see the whole design for all these items is essentially the armor you would see on a horse like you guys can see over here on the ash weapon charm. So our emote is sharp serenade so we have a dance going on over here but we have daggers in hand so we have like a serenade type of dance going on but intimidating at the same time because you have those daggers in hand, so pretty interesting. Then over here is the airborne skin. I actually like this one quite a bit. Gold and pink, it's a pretty cool airborne skin. Moving on, we have Dame Usurper. This is the first time we see Dame's face. She looks really nice. I love the theme. I think they did a really good job executing this over here. She definitely looks like a very important knight. I love the whole cape with the Sentinel Five Knights logo. The armor looks cool. Really awesome soldier overall. Then we have the legendary Hades. And this is pretty interesting. So, as you guys know, the Hades looks very similar to the PP-19 Bison. 
and even the legendary skins are actually pretty similar with the whole armor and pink light effect coming out of the gun and I do like that. This is pretty neat. The actual sickle skin, I do like that. Subtle pink with the gold, it came out looking pretty good. Over here is the Parachute Sentinel Five Nights logo. Pink and gold, nothing too crazy, but does look okay. Over here is the actual HBR A3 skin. And just for being an epic skin, no remodeling, it came out looking pretty neat. So I like that quite a bit. And then finally over here is the calling card for everyone that does like calling cards. Now here's our next draw, and this draw is gonna cause ruptures in the actual community. This thing is just insane. Check this out, our weapon charm is a mini Reaper Ashura, the legendary character in this draw and I really actually like that. Our emote is like this whole jetpacking emote over here. You can see our soldier is kind of struggling to keep it up, but it's a pretty nice emote. Here is the backpack, and you guys will see like everything has like a futuristic airplane type of spaceship design on it. And then over here is the legendary gun, the M4 LMG Salamander. And what you guys can see over here is not do this gun justice. Because in my opinion, the coolest thing about this gun is the actual digital sight. It has these massive, large, green fighter pilot sights, which is just ridiculous. It looks so cool in-game though. I do like that. But the overall design is still pretty nice. We have like a whole airplane, spaceship, sort of white, clean look, which is pretty nice. And I like the fact that the barrel also does move. And also, it's the first ever legendary M4 LMG skin. Now this is what is ridiculous. This is a legendary soldier, Reaper Ashura, and this is just like nothing we've seen before in COD Mobile. Completely out there. It is like COD Mobile has gone ahead and partnered up with the Transformers. This thing is just completely insane. We have the wings, the jetpack. It's like a spaceship airplane sort of design going on over here, which I do actually kind of like. It is completely massive, so you are gonna stand out and be a pretty easy target when you go ahead and use the skin, but it's still really unique, and I do like the fact that it actually does fly around in the lobby. That is pretty cool. Here's the actual kill counter. I love the fact that it is blue. It looks really, really nice in my opinion. I like it more than the green and the actual red ones. We are gonna have an actual VTOL skin, so your laptop is gonna have like a special effect on it. And then over here is the stance, the walking stance, actually like a flying in stance for BR in the plane. That is the coolest stance so far in my opinion. And over here is the loot chest. So definitely let me know what you guys think about the soldier skin overall. Hands down, this is the craziest soldier skin we've ever seen in COD Mobile to date. Over here is the calling card of Legendary Reaper Ashura on there, so pretty nice. Over here we have a trophy system in the same sort of design as Legendary Reaper Ashura. And I've got to say, this Alka 24 skin over here I think is my favorite Alka 24 skin in the game. Even looks better than the Legendary Alka 24 in my opinion. And the final guys over here as well is going to be an FHJ18 skin, so okay, that's the full draw. Here is the next draw, starting off with a concussion grenade skin, nothing crazy, almost looks like a rare skin, but the actual wingsuit is pretty cool, the whole bronze effect, I like that lightning in the middle, that is actually quite a nice looking wingsuit skin. And the backpack also looks pretty cool in the same design. So for the emote, we call in a bunch of cluster strikes, and the way it's set up is pretty similar to the one we had with the drone, but still a very nice emote overall, some cool effects happening over here. Now over here is the new legendary QQ9 skin known as Moonlight. That's gonna be the third QQ9 skin coming to the game in the form of a legendary. Now in my opinion, this is my least favorite one so far. I don't think it looks bad. I just think the other two we have in the game look better than this. We have some subtle hints and accents of bronze around the gun. For the most part, it's gonna be a white and gray background, which looks pretty clean. And in the center, we do have like the whole lightning core, which is pretty nice looking. Now over here, we have a Karambit skin, which looks pretty clean. And I actually really like the parachute skin on this draw. The whole lightning effect looks pretty clean. And then over here, we have a Peacekeeper skin, which honestly is very underwhelming, in my opinion at least. And then finally, guys, over here is the calling card as well. So here's our final draw for this video. And we start off with Grinch over here in this new outfit, which is personally my favorite outfit he's ever been in and my favorite soldier of the season. I think it looks really cool. It's like a futuristic assassin sniper looking vibe going on over here. I love the hoodie. I love the whole cape. I think it's dope overall. It's kind of hard to explain, but I get like futuristic vibes, but I get like Pharaoh vibes from the way he's dressed up as well. I don't know, it's pretty cool overall. I do like the skin though. Now the legendary gun is gonna be the BK-57, and honestly, this gun confuses me quite a bit, because the gun looks like it is covered in padding. It's actually super weird, white with blue stripes, and it also has like a blue effect on the barrel, but overall, just a weird looking gun in my opinion. 
Over here we have a blue and white tank, which actually came out looking pretty cool, to be honest with you guys. Here's the parachute, blue and white, and it does have the writing danger right across the actual parachute, pretty cool. We're gonna have a thermite with some blue accents on there, so okay. Moving on, over here is going to be a shorty skin, which actually looks pretty nice with the white and the blue. And then over here is our emote. We have a black belt emote, some awesome karate, kung fu, ninja type of moves. That looks pretty cool. Then over here, we do actually have an NA45 skin, the Frozen Sun skin. The skin looks awesome. It just sucks that it is on the actual NA45. Would have loved if it was on any other gun in the game. And there's the calling card of Grinch standing in the snowstorm. Now on the screen is going to be all the emotes of Season 7 and then after that is going to be all the character skins of Season 7. So just sit back and relax and enjoy and thank you so much for watching the video.